What do you get when you take several burgers, a drunk uncle from Idaho, some pimento cheese? You get one hell of a burger. This recipe all starts with the pimento cheese we're gonna make. Now this pimento cheese is something that my granddad used to make and I'm doing it as best as I can remember, but I mean, there wasn't a lot to it and it has changed just a wee bit. So I have eight ounces of just four state cheddar, eight ounces of extra sharp cheddar, cheese that is. Get in there and mix this up. All right, that's got a good mix to it. Got one container of pimentos drained. Throw it in like so. Now I need like a quarter a cup of pickled jalapenos. Couldn't find diced pickled jalapenos. So I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball this one a little bit. I'm definitely gonna need some juice. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. It's not for Patrick's upcoming surgery if you were having one. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. Just gonna start dicing. I want these extra diced, just kind of like the pimentos are. That way they don't really stand out when you look at it. Perfect. Does call for two tablespoons of the juice from the jalapenos. Perfect. Take that glove off. I'm gonna mix this up. All right, we do have one last ingredient. Now this is where it can get kind of controversial. Are you a male person or a Miracle Whip? I'm normally a male person, but for this one I went with Miracle Whip because I think Miracle Whip just has a little extra tang to it. So I need about a half a cup of mayo, Miracle Whip, whatever you want. And let's just get in there and stir it up. Should get inside of that. I want to try it just a little bit. Mmm, that's perfect. Dang. Boy, that sure does bring back some memories. So I'm gonna put this into the refrigerator for about one hour, and then we'll see you back, because then we're gonna start on our burgers. Our pimento cheese has sat in the fridge for an hour. It looks great, tastes great, even smells great. I have four burgers here. They're already pre-made. They're 80-20. I just want to put them down onto the grill. We're going to cook them up. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Right on, let's let these uh, start cooking. We'll pull them off, throw some pimento on it, give it a taste. Oh, and we do have a, a surprise as well. It's a local ingredient I think you're really gonna like. We're gonna do this cook about 10 minutes. I just think it's time to just take our burgers off. I did check the temperature inside. They're running in it. They're coming in at about 165 degrees. I just want to let these things sit for a little bit. We let our burgers rest for about 10 minutes. I think it's time to build this, man, because the excitement for me is just, it's all over it. Just take one burger, put it down like that. Now I'm gonna use some Oman Poppy's Drunk Uncle. Now, for those of us in the Idaho, especially the Southern Idaho area, they're a local company out of CUNA, and they make a great barbecue sauce. Uh, they also have rubs, uh, just absolutely excellent. I'm just gonna put it around like that on top of that burger. Now, for the star attraction, put some pimento down. Yeah. I'm liking that. Woo! I can hardly try it. I, I can hardly wait to taste it, seriously. Before we do though, I wanted to tell you, you got a little something on your, your 
your shoulder there. Now yeah, your other one. Now oh, you got it. All right. Let's try this burger out. Time to try this monster out. But I do want to say, I've got some extra burgers for you. Some pimento cheese. A little bit more of the drunk uncle, although I need some more. So come on over. Try this out. Let's get the hunch. Mmm. I hope I don't have anything on my face because this is so, so good. You get the flavor of the burger, get a little bit of that drunk uncle in there, you get some pimento cheese, all of it just blends together and it's perfect. If you like what you saw, make sure to check out the video. Put the video here, video here, recommended, recommended for you. This is also gonna be a part of our burger playlist. Make sure you check them out. And going back to eating this thing, 